Good morning, everyone. It's time to begin, so let's find our seats. We've got a number of announcements that I wanted to share with you this morning. I know they're in the bulletin, but they always seem to make more of a difference when you hear them. Uh, on the table on the right as you exit today are offering envelopes. Yes, it's that time of year again. You've not done all your last ones, but each year we get issued the same number, but a new box. Uh, so you want to go back there and see Bob and Sue on your way out, and they will help you uh, get those offering envelopes together. Bill, you need to tell them about the, the picnic, church picnic. Um, yeah, in a minute, all right. Uh, the next thing we have is for those that are going to uh, the Harvest Crusade, which is the last Sunday night of this month, uh, we will be meeting here at the church uh, to go down together on one of the vans or buses. But also, they, need, they do need help with uh, people down on the floor to be mentors and follow-up people. And that requires that you attend the start route. Now, a number of us did that last week. But you can now do that online. So if you want more information about being a uh, leader or a helper or an usher uh, and be able to see that online, why don't you go back and see Bob Bojean after the service and he'll give you instructions on that. Pig roast. That's why they're here. They want to know about the pig roast. Uh, besides the pig roast, also on the last Sunday of the month, we have a baptism. It's going to be here on Sunday morning using our indoor pool. And a number of the young people that got baptized while they were out in uh, Montana, right? That's where they were. Uh, are going to bat get baptized before their parents so they get to see it. But if you would like to participate, if you've never followed the Lord in obedience and baptism, uh, we certainly invite you to come see Pastor J. Sarai, and we'll make sure you're signed up for that. Bill, hablas inglés? Como sobre el rostro del pico? No, but speaking of pigs, no, I mean, the marriage uh, is groups. Uh, <laughs> Marriage groups have been going on all week. If you haven't been participating and you want to get involved, you certainly can still get right into it now. Uh, but this, tonight, Sunday night's marriage group, this will be the very first one, so if you haven't seen one yet, you can catch up tonight. We have dinner at the church here at 5.30 and at 6.30 with traditional worship service with Pastor Jace. And upstairs in the old library, we'll be starting part one of the House or Home series in the uh, small group marriage groups. Okay, can we get to it now? Please, I want to know about the pig. All right, since Nick is really into pigs, the uh, church picnic is next Sunday afternoon. Immediately following the worship service, we're going down to Beulah Land to roast what? Piggies! All yeah, right, <laughs> one pig. One pig. Now, it's important to know how big a pig to get, which means that we do need to know if you're coming or not. So, on the way out, on the left, is the church sign up for the pig roast. We want you to come. This is such a great time of fellowship. We have organized games for all different age groups. Of course, we have our 2 o'clock football game that Pastor Jeff will be running. Uh, but we have things for the adults. We have all kinds of things besides eating the pig that uh, Nick so wants. And, of course, comes with all the condiments and everything else. Great time of fellowship. If you are coming, please bring a dessert along with you uh, so that we can enjoy that. Is that satisfy you? Is that okay? I feel much better. Right. Can, can you say it's time to worship in Spanish? Es tiempo. Worship our. <laughs> let's actually uh, let, let's let's. Could you please stand? We're gonna we're gonna pray together to set our hearts right. Father in heaven, I thank you so much for bringing everybody here safely. Now just please bless our time together as we uh, lift up your name and praise as a congregation, as a body. We love you. Lord. Amen. Let's start with all hail the power of Jesus' name.
I see a lot of, actually a lot of new faces in the congregation today. Um, one thing we do here at Paran is uh, we, we sing a new song of the month. Every month we learn a new song together. Uh, the reason being, Psalm 33, 3, it says, sing to him a new song. Play skillfully, make a loud noise. So we're simply following the command the Lord has given us to sing him a new song. And so this month we're learning a song called The Joy of Your Salvation, written by some yubby. Um, and uh, it talks about the, uh, is that me making all that reverb? Sorry. Um, it talks about just the, the idea of having joy from your salvation. We have a knowledge of our salvation, but that knowledge of our salvation should uh, bring joy to us, or joy in our hearts. And that joy motivates us to live the gospel. We see we are to preach the gospel and live the gospel. So that our words have merit. So that we just don't tell people you need to go to heaven and then we, act, we just end up living like they do. No, we're supposed to give them the truth of the gospel and then live that out. As to sort of uh, give it um, some merit, some truth to it. So I explained uh, the, the, the chorus last week. I want to explain to you the first verse what it means. And the words are, the joy of your salvation is here in me. It's freely pouring from my heart for all to see. It makes everything alive again. It cleanses the leper from his sin. Hope springs forth where you have been. Oh Lord, I urge you to bless this world. It just talks about just pretty much you understanding the uh, amazing gift that the gospel is. And it should bring so much joy to you knowing this great grace and love that God has just bestowed on us. And it's so that you, you feel so thankful for it that you can't keep it in. You just want to go out there and you want to spread that love and spread that gospel because it brings life. It, it, it brings life to the dead and it cleanses uh, all of us from our sins and it brings um, forth uh, hope. So let's sing together the joy of your salvation. Show me. 
much for giving us your salvation. Let it just be our song and our joy and our light. And let us be the light to the world. Let's not just stay to ourselves, but re recognize the lost and dying world that's out there. It's our job to spread your love. In your name, amen.